I dare die. It's a brand new morning. So we got the R and M places now, and then there's the chocolate. Oh yeah. Orium. So how many days we got left? Mm. Uh, there were six days total. So, I think so we spent more. one. So spent we got one. Five left. Okay. So let's try the let's try the chocolate emporium. Maybe yes. I don't know. Yeah, I think I think it's a good idea to know like just to see if that's a red herring entire. Because I mean like, or we could interview the uh, the flower girl. Yeah, the flower is a lot more of a lead than the chocolate, but we could always try yeah. the chocolate because I mean that wasn't the place he was like rum well, just hanging out in. Well, we'll uh, no, not that one. Not uh, yeah, I wouldn't go to the canard because yeah. Let, let's do the, the flower thing. Sure. Vendors and buskers, performers and, performers and thieves, the cynicists, the pessimists, and those that don't believe in nothing. <laughs> Bourgeois and peasants all bustle from place to place. Did Prince, Prince Juan said that he met a flower girl here? Seed, I think he said her name was. Yeah, I, there's a swan with flowers over there. Do you think that's her? I think so. It's possible that she knows the murderer. Or even that she is the murderer herself. <laughs> so she probably would act with tact and finesse. Excuse me, Mademoiselle Flower Lady! We would like a word! Tact, Sparrows, and tact. We've been over this. <clears throat> Who wants uh, this? Um, I Oh, a good day, Miss John. Are you interested? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Damn. All right. Yes, I wish to purchase a rose from my lady. Uh, I'm afraid I, I'm out of God roses. <laughs> no, that's, that's non canon. I'm afraid I'm out of roses. I sold my last one a week ago. Perhaps you would be satisfied with a chrysanthemum instead? Tis a beautiful flower from a fair maiden! Please don't mind Sparrowson. He fell out of his nest as a baby and he's said dumb things of a sense. <laughs> 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 hey! Let me introduce myself. I am the JJ Falcon. The best <laughs> JJ. <laughs> Are you the Mademoiselle Singh? That's right. Catherine Marie Singh? I suppose you're here to ask about the royal assassination attempt. Oh, yeah! The royal oh. assassination attempt! <laughs> how, did you, how did you know? I'm no fool, monsieur. I know that a, roll I sold, or a rose I sold was used as the murder weapon. To be honest, I'm surprised it's taken so long for someone to directly question me. That's pretty weird. The Parisian police, police seem to have a habit of missing obvious leads. So, do you mind if we ask you a couple of questions? Business is slow, please, ask away. Mademoiselle, you mentioned that you sold your last rose a week ago. Who did you sell it to? The person who bought the rose. I didn't catch his name, but he was a charming red fox. That's not good. Sounds like our Juan! Sounds like our Juan, more like. <laughs> <laughs> I met him around a week ago on I the 6th. I met him around a week ago okay. on the 6th. Was did uh, he I, mention anything about geez, showing up I any other remember. day? I, like, don't remember. I think the sixth. No, I think the, the was. I think the murder was on the sixth or the seventh. It was the seventh. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, I thought he bought it directly from her and then brought it over. Yeah. Hmm. We talked for a little while about the usual things, you know, like how everyone seems to be in debt these days. Then he bought a rose and left. I hear that the fox is on trial, but to be honest, monsieur, I don't think he's guilty. Oh, why is that? Well, there was, uh, you know, a, a patty explosion, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Just a gut feeling. Yeah, pressure. Yeah. Squeeze like a bottle Gotta of ketchup. Know. Mademoiselle, it just so happens that we're defending this particular fox in our cool... Cool <laughs> If you have something to say that can prove its innocence, now would be the time to let us know. I'm sorry, messieurs, I can't. 
Wait, Mademoiselle Singh, wake up! Wait, fuck, wait up! Wake yeah. up! Wake up! <laughs> okay, All you okay, have to do, do is wake up! Wake up! <laughs> <laughs> wake up! Wake up! You went out for an hour. <laughs> yeah. Nice display of tact and finesse, Falcon. You scared her off. Swan obviously knows something crucial about the case. We need to get to the bottom of whatever it is. Agreed. But I don't think she'll be in the mood to tell us anything else. I know. Why uh, Why don't we try acting like, uh, act with a little more <laughs> tact and finesse next time? God damn it. Hush. It's just fighting left and right in this chapter. Uh, it's it's the two next. days down. We've been here. I guess it's just onto the Chocolate Emporium. Uh, it's <clears> off <throat> the bar. And r &M. You can stop by there and see see what's up. Yeah. Wait. It won't take the day, so... Yeah, if you yeah. check out R&M, it won't take a couple of days. So, R&M, who... That's the porcupine. Told the us porcupine gave you the business card to that guy. Okay. Customers. Uh, hello? Is this the office Renard Volps? Of Ren Ah! It's you two! Mm -hmm. Mousy, Can what are you doing here? Oh, uh, this is where I work. So, there's a competing law firm giving us this case. Mm -hmm. Who brought this case to our attention. It's from a competing firm. No, they're they're a they're a detective agency. Yeah, okay. yeah, we're 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 lawyers. They're, they're, yeah. But he was a detective giving us the case. He didn't give us any information. That's weird. Yeah, yeah. that is pretty suspicious, actually. He's like, I want you to investigate this. I kind of felt like Mousy's pretty suspicious. Yeah. I feel like like Juan might have done it, but I feel like he might not have. He's just actually a suspicious as fuck person. Yeah. Like he's, he's, a got, he's got. He's got. He's got a know. bunch of. No, 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 no. <laughs> trust a Spaniard. <laughs> well, I feel like he's just like around Spaniards. Keep your valuables on lanyards. <laughs> that's, that's not like you made it up just now because that sounds like it could be a real like fucked up racist thing <laughs> yeah. that like somebody said like or put on a poster. <laughs> yeah. That's what my old pappy used to say. <laughs> yeah, my old pappy used to say, keep your... <laughs> String Spaniards up by their lanyards. I'm Lord Mousy. Oh. Monsieur Renard Volps and I carry all sorts of investigations together. Although, to be completely honest, it's normally Monsieur Volps who chooses which cases to take on. I see. Well then, can we speak with Monsieur Volps? Oh, uh, I'm afraid that won't be possible. See, Monsieur Volps is on vacation right now. He's visiting his father in England. England? But he is set to return in a week or two. Maybe you could come back then. That's no good to us. Our case will be over by then. Okay, I think I know what's going to happen. In the trial, Volps is just going to show up on the prosecutor's side. Yeah. Just surprisingly. Yeah. He did say. Like, this he seems say, like a like, work. Su yeah. Surprise witnesses. Oh, and. Yeah? Mousy recommended you guys to Prince Juan because you guys suck. Got it. Yeah. Oh, damn. And, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so there are shadier lawyers than us somehow. Yeah, and they're. they're <laughs> yeah! <laughs> they, they, they were paid off by. Uh, Cockhead, whatever his name I, uh, was. Uh, Cocorico? Yeah. It's time to get your chocolate emporium enema on. Yeah, chocolate enema would be awesome. You won't be able to tell what's poop and what's it's... chocolate. <laughs> Am I in the basement? Oh, welcome, welcome. Welcome so... to Lander Hedgesplak's <laughs> Chocolate Emporium. Wait, the finest Belgian chocolate chip in all of Paris. <laughs> Shouts to Bulbasaur saying fuck her right in the pussy. <laughs> Thanks for that. I will fuck this elephant right in the pussy. I'll just... Oh, I can't go into steam mode. I don't care. Uh, but yes, Volosaur, you are indeed on it. V yeah. <laughs> I am Lander Hegslack, the owner of this establishment. 
<laughs> it sounded like Apu. <laughs> <laughs> He's, well, he's, an, he's an Asian elephant that's in Germany. Like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, whatever. <laughs> I am JJ Falcon, defense attorney. Good day, monsieur. Oh, lawyers. Very fancy. I must say that once I dreamed of being a lawyer, but where circumstances wouldn't allow it. Okay. It's a funny story. You see, I was a young boy befriended by son of a Hungarian attorney. Falcon. You have to help me. What, what is it? It's the smell, Falcon. It's overpowering me. It's demanding that I lay waste to the shop. For pity's sake, For restrain fuck's sake. Yeah, yeah, right? Like... Like... <laughs> God damn it. Oh, but I'm rambling, aren't I? So, are you messieurs here to buy some chocolate? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. We're actually here on business, Monsieur. Business? First things first, ma'am. We're fucking with the worst dummy sticking pins in your head like a fucking nurse. <laughs> we believe that this chocolate wrapper originated from your shop. Are we correct? Oh, yes, yes. This is indeed the trademark a Hagel Leslack wrapper for genuine Belgian Eggleslack chocolate. This was almost certainly bought from this very establishment. Very good. With that established, there is something else we wish to ask, Monsieur Heg Hegelschlack. Well, because the ch chocolate being poisoned, that's a good question, too. Because yeah, maybe the roses that, are that big just happened ruse. after he walked out there. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us who bought the chocolate that was contained in this wrapper, Monsieur? Whatever. Hegelschlack. Oh, maybe Hegelschlack. I'm afraid. I'm afraid oh. not, Monsieurs. Just because of a matter of confidentiality, <laughs> although that is a factor you understand, but because I couldn't possibly know that. Mm. No, yeah. Mm. <laughs> I thought elephants never forget. My memory is impeccable, Monsieur, but you must understand that I have a dozen of customers. <laughs> <laughs> I have dozens of customers. There are hundreds of people who could have potentially bought this particular item. So, your memory is good, but you need further information. If we were to give you the description of the name of a person, would you be able to tell us whether they purchased something from you? Oh, yes, yes, I could probably do that, Monsieur. Let me think who to ask about. Okay. I think all the old ones in there still. Yeah. This asks about the giraffe lady. Um. So. Uh, are any of the people that you have members of the Royal Guard? Royal Guard? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Um. um what about uh, bottom center? Major Howell. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, that's the Major Howell's <clears throat> yeah, He was the guy... He, yeah, he was the victim. If okay. he bought the chocolate, and it was poison chocolate, and he just hadn't to keel over after being pricked by the rose. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever... Have you ever served a member of the Royal Guard by the name of Major Howell? No. Dang it. No, monsieur. Are you sure? Yes, monsieur. I have been... I, I have served the many soldiers, but... I don't recall seeing your major in here in recent memory. What does that mean, Falcon? Have we lost our lead? Not necessarily. It just means that Major Howell didn't buy the chocolate that may have killed him. There's still the possibility that someone bought the chocolate for him. That's our lead. That's the one we... That's... That's who we want to find. I see! I did once serve a high-ranking officer of the British Army who was on his way to Zimbabwe. If you want to hear that story. No, I don't want to hear that story. <laughs> Let me think. Who to ask about? Okay, so not him. How about Foxy McGee? Yeah. His name is Foxy McGee. Or, or, Because asking about him is going to at least clear some alibi. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's still the rose, but if he bought the chocolate, that would be yeah. a wrinkle in the case. Yeah. I do also want to ask about 
uh, the girl, the swan girl. Oh, yeah, she, yeah, she was back one, yeah, there she yeah. is. But, I'll ask about the fox. Have you ever seen Juan Querido? Querido, the Prince of Spain? I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna level with you here. I, I, I'm just faking that accent. I'm not actually, uh, Swedish. It's just because sweet, you know, chocolate and everything. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, the Prince of Spain? No. Never. <laughs> Well, that's well, good that's, to hear. That's, that's you. <laughs> well, yeah. that's good to hear. Our clue would have turned into a dead end if our own clients turned out to be a chocolate fiend. <laughs> I did once serve a princess from Molly, if that's of any help. See, I met the girl while hugging through the Himalayas. Please stop. Let me think. <laughs> Who to please, about? please stop talking All to right. me, you winded elephant. Have you ever served a flower-selling swan named Catherine Marie Steen? No. Damn. Oh, wait, wait. Oh. What are you thinking? Oh, oh yeah, that's yeah, fine. What are you thinking, Falcon? I'm not sure, to be perfectly honest. If she were the chocolate fiend, then our investigation would have become much simpler. But since she's not... I'm no, serious, I'm getting tired of these... Oh, that's you. No. Mm -hmm. Sir, get the fuck out of my establishment. Come back. <laughs> You know, Falcon, it's possible that we just haven't encountered the chocolate fiend yet. Rather than coming back here every day and making aimless guesses, we should wait until we have someone who's significant in mind. You might have a point, Sparrowson. Thank you for your time, Monsieur Hegel. <laughs> we shall return when our investigation has progressed a little. Anytime, Mr. Fucking Guys. Except for today. And except, except for like five minutes from now, or three hours from now. Yeah, you fucking babar ass motherfucker telling us she fucking thinks so, about So, Louvre probably is nothing for now. Um, I'd say go to the bar. See if you just meet another fucking person of interest there. Yeah. Fuck it. Okay. Didn't have what we needed to. Yeah, and there we don't really have anything more. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's pretty much that. Or go back to those places we already went. Maybe we can try this again. It won't take the day, so... Yeah. Strange, I don't see any sign of the flower girl. Yeah, probably because you scared her off with your crazy tact and finesse strategy, dummy! <laughs> uh, or maybe you scared her with your horrendous, inappropriate flirting technique. I'll have you know that I can flirt like a peacock in tail-fanning mode. <laughs> We really don't have time for this discussion. Let's just continue with our investigation so go elsewhere. there if you want to have a funny fight. Got it. <laughs> Alright. Uh, oh! What? Try going to the Palace of Justice. Maybe you can talk to the judge and, like, oh, the Rubini yeah, will give you something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. A little early, aren't we? Just scoping the place out. Come on, Falcon. We've got investigating to do. Do, do, do. We've got oh, an investigation we to do do. Uh, it's, that's prison. Yeah, I uh, feel like it's is the canard maybe. Yeah. Unless you think there's anything. I think you could try going to uh, the conciergerie. Yeah, why not? Uh, maybe you get something from yeah. your prisoner. Yeah, maybe. Pal. He'll give me some more info. What do you want? I am JJ Felton Defense of 24. <clears throat> no, who ya? Oh, okay. I saw you come by earlier and his visit and hours are over. Fuck off. Now get out! Now get out! I think you can make an exception for no, us? Visiting hours are over. We'll be quick. I said visiting hours are over. Alright. Get my brains, understand? Pinevu, frasse! I don't think he's. I I don't think it's gonna work on this one. Pipe down, will ya? <laughs> I don't think a spell's gonna work. Okay. So, okay. Uh, let's go to the bar then. Yeah. Get drunk. No more chat. Yeah, okay. Get drunk. Really, Falcon, I thought you were done with your mopey drinking. Like, this guy's a crook. And he's like mad at his ever drinking. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not here to drink, Sparrowson, or mope for that matter. Taverns are a fantastic hub of information. Oh. It's a good place to question people. You can see if we wish to get to 
to learn more about this Prince Juan, then this should be an ideal place to start asking questions. Oh, that's pretty good thinking! What was your... I don't remember... Ah! You knew her back! Are you feeling any better, Falcon? <laughs> yeah, that, that one's really good. Uh, <laughs> oh, man, I can't, that's, actually, that's gonna hurt. I can't, <laughs> I can't keep doing that, no. Much better. Thank you for asking, Madam Quinnell. That's, oh yeah, that's it. That's great to hear, huh? Will it be the usual? That's right. No, no. I'm back to investigate the work today. I've got to keep sharp. We wanted to know if you've seen the princess. Oh, right. oh that's you. You're fine. fine. No, he's uh, it's fine. It's, 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 it's the prince of Spain. I don't know if he knows, huh? But this isn't exactly the classiest pub in Paris. I'm lucky to serve the occasional bourgeois, but you can forget about seeing a member of royalty. If I touch you, I'll steal your power, Shug! <laughs> <laughs> That's a pity. Maybe I should ask some of your patrons. Feel free. The old regular Rufus and Powell are playing cards in the attic, same as always. Got all sorts of colorful, you know, characters in the drinking room. <laughs> I bet if you rattled enough cages, you would find someone who knows whatever it is you want to know. Thank you, madame. Let's see where to start. Come on, pal. Just one more game of Jackass now. No. Absolutely not. My wallet is hurting enough as it is. Please. I'll even let you deal this time. The answer's no, Rufus. I'm skit. If you want to play cards, you'll have to ask someone else. Fine, I'll ask the big fellow. Excuse me, Montour. Yes, you, my son. But you care to play some, is that cards no? Let's do it. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Deal me in, Monsieur. Very well, then. Do you know how to play? <coughs> Nope, I'm only familiar with Sego and Papterock. <laughs> it's like Papterock. Papterock. Yeah. Oh, this is much better than those silly games. Let me tell you how it works. I have a deck of cards with values between 1 and 11. I deal you one card at a time. If you hit 21, you win. Oh. I give you Black five deck. frocks. That's... Five francs? That seems a little steep. This is a man's game, I'm sure! It's the only children gamble over petty sue. So, so, I don't know. Besides, higher stakes make them uh, make for a more exciting game, right? I suppose so. Oh, we have to actually play this. We're gonna play a Oh, Black God, Jack. I'm really bad at card games like this. Right. Like, I'm not a good gamble person. Okay. It's a four. four. Well, so you hit. Yeah, we definitely hit there. If my mouse will cooperate. There. Fifteen. Uh, yeah, one more. It's, no. That's no. That's the end. Because then he'll deal. And he either has to go or go over. Okay. Okay. Oh, good. Okay. Sweet. Well played, my son. Here's your payout. Shall we have another round? Fuck yeah! <laughs> <laughs> this time you lose your soul if you lose. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit. I'll, uh, yeah. I'll hit on that. Like that. And I'll hit again. Yeah, it's good to stay there. I don't know. It's yeah. up to you if you want to go. Yeah, we'll see. Yes. Dang. That was mm. close though. That wasn't that bad. That wasn't a bad move. Unlucky, my sure. Most unfortunate. Shall no, I gotta I win. Know. I gotta win back. I gotta save us. <laughs> 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 Thus begins Pat's gambling addiction. <laughs> <laughs> Start off, we're playing Brit. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, you can probably I'm, hit it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're shitting, baby. I mean, the highest card is 11, so. I'm hitting like, again. Ah, uh, stay. Stop. Stay. I am standing there. That is yeah. a good ass place to stop. 
He is not gonna beat that. He might. That's possible. He won't, though. See? <laughs> okay. See? Like, he's... He could have tied. Would that be? Nah. Uh, Guess what, motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs>